Hey Cancers, it's Sunny Ovi and I'm here to give you your monthly for April 2019. Keep in mind that these are generals and the things that I discuss may not resonate with you, which should be alright. I do recommend that you get familiar with your natal chart because other aspects within your chart may make more sense to you during this time other than your sun, your moon, and your raisin. And if you would like a personal reading, please go to the description bar below because that's where my website is. Also, disclaimer with my readings, I do talk fast, I do curse from time to time, and due to me reading for a lot of different energies, my readings can be very jumpy. Please forgive because I don't feel like being seen today, but hopefully you guys will understand. But let's see what's going on for you guys. For my cancers for April 2019. Give me three cards and then we just go from there. What's going on? I feel like many of you guys, like you just want to be satisfied. Like, that's really all you want. You just want to be happy. Um, I am seeing how for some of you... You need to be realistic of your father's condition. That's what's being shown to me. Whether this is your biological father, your stepfather, um, maybe your uncle or grandfather. Um, and when I say uncle, maybe you view your uncle as your father. But I feel like there's a male figure who you view as father or who is your father. And I feel like he has um, health issues. And... Uh, you know there may be a scare going on with his health or like you're gonna have to be there for him some way somehow um maybe even a brother as well but um i'm seeing how many of you guys like you're going to <sighs> you're going to be very heavy-hearted during this time and i'm just seeing how you aren't going to be able to really catch a break. It's kind of like if it's one thing, it's another. That's what's being shown to me. And I feel like you are going to just be a, a bit of a train wreck for some of you. Okay. Um, I am seeing how there may be a disturbance within family life. Whether uh, someone is departing from you. You can take that how you want to. Um, or there's a breakup when it comes to the family. I am seeing a family issue where you're going to have to split uh, some sort of inheritance. Uh, they may be fighting over a wheel. Um, I, I just see how family uh, really aren't going to get along during this time especially unfortunate unfortunately if there is a death um i'm also seeing oh lordy for some of you there may be um i keep picking up on children there may be um Oh, y'all, this reading is low-key dreadful. Um, there may be... Watch your children, okay? Um, for some of you, I hate to say, be mindful of abortion or miscarriage during this time. I keep picking up on twins, like losing twins. That's what's being shown to me. Like, twins are triplets, okay? Um, on another note, I'm, I'm seeing how some of you, you may come in contact with an air sign. Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. And I'm seeing how you really like or liked this person. Hmm, this person isn't in your life that much anymore. I feel like they come and they go. Or this may be someone who you have a karmic relationship with and they may be a new person in your life and maybe you feel this familiar energy with them okay let, let me let me separate this if you come in contact with a new air sign you're gonna feel like oh my god i've known you before 
I loved you before or I took care of you. Like I have to be with you. You're going to feel this type of connection with this person. I'm seeing how this person they're going to be really, really sweet. For some of you, this may even be a Pisces. Okay. Um, but this person, they're going to be really, really sweet in the beginning, but they're going to talk about a particular tragedy, whether they're going to talk about, oh, I was married before. Um, I'm, I'm not over my ex. Um, I want kids or I can't see my kids. Um, it, it's going to be something weird that they're going to tell you about either pa a past lover that they aren't over or kids. Like, I really want kids, but I haven't had kids yet. Or my ex won't let me see my kids. It's going to be something along those lines. But I'm seeing how you are going to be in the energy of, hey, let, let me help you. You know, let me do what I can for you and in a way you may not mean to do this but this is what I'm seeing like in a way you may feel as if oh and this is going to sound so mean but subconsciously you're going to try to take this person's attention away from their hurt and their pain and it's kind of like you're trying to replace this person's ex you're trying to replace the fact that they can't see their kids but in a way you aren't getting the love in return because this person is still cold to you they aren't really open to you like you at first this person is going to be really really sweet but once you start to show this person hey like consistently i'm going to be there for you they're going to kind of exit from your life or you may not hear from this person anymore or once you have sex with this person or give this person what they want they're going to fade away from you once again this is a karmic relationship maybe in the past you fucked over this person and this person was there for you and now it's the opposite way where you're going to be there for this person and they're going to be like, okay, bye, I got what I wanted. Um, so be mindful about that. On another note, if you have been dealing with an air sign person for some time, okay, also possibly a Pisces or maybe even a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I feel like um, you created a family with this person, whether you moved in together, you had kids, you guys met each other's parents, um, you've been together for some time. Uh, I'm seeing three years for some of you. Um, I'm seeing how the love isn't the same anymore. It's like you guys boss the energy like you you lost the love that you had for each other and it's like the intentions of making it work just wasn't there anymore um and it's like you guys were holding on you were holding on to thin air and now you're realizing okay you know what like i, I can't do this anymore but i still see you i still see you wanting to be there for that person or that person will want to be there for you but it's it's not solving anything like you guys are basically <sighs> torturing each other in a way I'm seeing how For some of you, your emotional self, like you, you being mean, you being argumentative and rude with your words created f this relationship to go downhill and vice versa, hell. But at the same time, even though you were mean to this person, you wasn't really trying to be mean to this person. You were so hurt and just 
so frustrated with yourself that you took your pain out on this person and vice versa especially if you're so quick to apologize like example let's just say you know you're with your partner and your partner does something and you just like fuss at them and then right after you're done like you start crying and you're like I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry because you know that you were in the wrong and it's like you don't mean to be mean to this person. You're just taking your pain and frustration out on them. In a way, this person, your your partner, who you're being mean to, vice versa, honey, flip the shit if it resonates. You see a piece of yourself in your partner. And it frustrates you at how much you just can't get it right why you can't feel comfortable in your own skin. It, it bothers you so much at how unhappy you truly are. Vice versa, okay? Um, on another note, if you aren't dealing with that, I am seeing how for some of you, you want to get your business right. Um, or you want to get a promotion in your work. For some of you, I am picking up that there's a lot of competition for those who are trying to get a promotion. Um, but I'm seeing how like you're dreading the process. Like maybe you have to brown nose particular people. Um, mm. When it comes to employment, be careful of layoffs during this time and or cut hours. Okay. Um, for some of you, please watch your ego because I'm seeing how your ego wants you to be right. And that will not be good for you or whoever just wants to be right all the damn time. Because I'm seeing the need to be right or superior is going to cause for you to lose a very good person, place, or thing. And you can take that how you want to. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this reading. Good luck with everything. And I shall see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.